2003, Christian Bale proved himself to be a true Hollywood legend by pulling off the most insane body transformation of all time. Bale went from anorexia man to fat man to Batman in just over a year. I'm a personal trainer with over a decade of experience in the fitness world, and in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the insane diet, workout routine, and possible steroid use that took Christian Bale from this to this. And at the end of the video, I'll be giving you a full, free Batman training plan based off of his training so you can get ripped yourself. So for the film The Machinist, which was shot just six months before Batman began started filming, Christian Bale wanted to look as thin and malnourished as possible so he could properly portray his vision of what a clinically insane insomniac would look like. To accomplish this, Bale ate only a can of tuna and a single apple each day, which led to him losing an insane 63 pounds in only 4 months. Christian Bale was literally starving himself so he could get his ideal bod. So next time you're dieting down and complaining about how hungry you are, just remember, it could always be worse. Once filming for The Machinist wrapped, Bale only had 6 months to bring his starved body back to life for his first outing as the Dark Knight, and the director of Batman Begins, Christopher Nolan, was for good reason a little concerned Bale wouldn't be able to pull it off. But Bale ain't no bitch that would back down from a challenge. He's the original Sigma bro. So when Christopher Nolan told him he would need to get as big as possible to fill out the bat suit, Batman said, hold my apples and tuna, and embarked on the most reckless dirty bulk in human history. Bale spent the next six months eating everything edible in sight, and probably even a few things that weren't, while lifting heavy almost every single day. And all this grinding definitely paid off, because in six short months, he was able to pack on 100 pounds of pure, unadulterated muscle mass. His physique was pristine, chiseled, and aesthetic, rivaling even Arnold's himself. And then he went straight into filming Batman Begins with zero issues. <laughs> okay. Uh, just kidding. What actually happened is Bale did pack on a lot of muscle, but he also got fat as fuck and scared the shit out of Christopher Nolan and the rest of the cast of Batman Begins. See, Bale took Nolan's instructions to get as big as possible a little bit too seriously and pushed his body a bit too far. Bale ended up putting on so much fat while he was bulking up that some of the cast of the crew was asking him, Jesus Christ, is this Batman or Fat Man? So while Bale might have been strong as an ox, at the end of his bulk, he said if you would have asked him to run across the room, he would have been completely out of breath. And since it would be a little embarrassing if Batman got taken out by a cardiac event while running for the Batmobile, Bale was going to need to lose some weight and get his conditioning back. To do this, Bale did what any real Hollywood actor would do in this situation. Train six days a week for three hours at a time, eat nothing but lean protein, healthy starches and fats, and uh, speculation, speculation warning. warning, potentially inject his butt cheeks with copious amounts of needles. But more on that later. Before we get to his workout program, if you like the video and want me to do one covering Ben Affleck's Batman training next, leave a like, subscribe, and comment Bat Ben down below. The training routine Bale followed consisted of three parts, bodybuilding training in the gym, running outside of the gym, and all of his fight choreography for the film, which there was a lot of since Christian Bale did all the fight scenes himself. Yet another Sigma move from the original Sigma male. Bale used tried and true resistance training methods in his bodybuilding plan. There was no gimmicky Instagram bullshit going on here. Bale used a combination of heavy compound movements, bodyweight movements, and classic isolation work to sculpt his bat bod. He followed a classic routine where he would choose one to two muscle groups per day and then do several exercises for three sets of eight to 10 reps each. Now, Bale was brilliant to use a training plan that included cardio and weights while on his fat loss diet. A huge mistake people make when they're in a fat loss phase is they stop lifting weights and focus solely on doing a shit ton of cardio. Now, not only is this an incredibly boring way of training that would make me want to unalive myself about two weeks in, but it can also lead to you losing a large amount of muscle mass along with damaging your metabolism. See, your body is constantly working to maintain a balance called homeostasis, which includes managing energy intake, storage, and expenditure. When we lose weight, the body perceives it as a potential threat to this balance and takes measures to counteract the energy deficit. In response to weight loss, the body might reduce energy expenditure and break down lean muscle mass. The body does this by slowing down our metabolism, which is the rate at which we burn calories at rest, and by using muscle protein as an alternative energy source. This is why incorporating strength training like lifting weights is essential while reducing calories and trying to lose weight. Engaging in regular resistance training sends a signal to the body that muscles are too important to be lost and should be preserved. Helping us maintain, or potentially even with newer trainees, increase our muscle mass during this weight loss process. Now before I give you your very own Batman training plan and we address Christian Bale's steroid use, 
We're going to have to make sure that you're looking the part before you start training like a superhero like Batman. And that's where my partners over at SuperX come in. SuperX creates the most badass, comfortable, and stylish workout apparel on the market. They've got designs based off all your favorite heroes and villains so that you can suit up and train in style. But their super suits don't just look good, they're super comfortable as well made with super stretch fabric so you can work out uninhibited. Go check them out using the link in the description of this video and then use code Demers to get a discount on your order and so they know that I sent you. But act fast because all their products are made in very limited runs and run out quick. All right, now back to the video. So now onto the question on everybody's minds. Did Bale take steroids for his Batman transformation? Well, in my opinion, his final physique in the movie is definitely something you can achieve naturally. He's got a good amount of muscle on his frame, but he isn't overly built. Plus, he's carrying a fair amount of body fat. He's only slightly bigger than he was when he starred in American Psycho, which is a role I'm 100% certain he did naturally. And a good amount of the exercise that he's put on from that role to this one looks to be body fat. However, while his final physique is naturally attainable, it's the amount of time that it took for him to go from this to this that is pretty suspicious. I mean, if gaining 100 pounds in under a year doesn't set off some alarm bells, I don't know what will. But there are a couple things here besides pharmaceutical help that could explain what's going on here. The first is that Bale already built a solid amount of muscle mass for past roles like American Psycho, which means that when it came time to put the weight back on, it would have been easier the second time around because of all of his accumulated myonuclei aka the phenomenon known as muscle memory. This is a phenomenon where you can rebuild muscle much faster than it initially took for you to build it. And second of all, from the weight gain perspective, a lot of that 100 pounds that he gained after the machinist was most likely intramuscular water, body fat, and also just food because now he's actually eating. To explain the intramuscular water, when you starve yourself like he did, most of your body's stored carbohydrates known as glycogen will be burnt up for energy. And because your body needs to retain three to four grams of water for every gram of glycogen it's holding, Bale would end up losing a ton of water weight simply because his body doesn't need that water to hold onto the glycogen. But then when he starts eating a shit ton again to gain weight for Batman, he would need that water again so his body would put it all back on, leading to a pretty significant weight gain. So I don't think his final physique is that insane, and I also think it is realistic that he did gain all this weight back in under a year naturally. So while there's always a chance that Bale did take something to aid in this process, I definitely believe that there is a chance he could have done this naturally. And now so you can naturally build your own Batman body, I've created this five day week training program based on Bale's Batman training that is designed to get you muscular, ripped, and well conditioned like Bale. You can download the program for free with the link down below, but it's a pretty advanced routine. So if you're new to fitness, you should check out my 17 week at home superhero body training program first. Now, if you wanna learn all about how Tom Hardy got jacked for his role as Bane, check out this video here and I'll see you there.